Hello and welcome to Nancy Drew message in a haunted mansion. Do we now see something of interest here that we need to find the tools? No? Okay. Uh, let's get out of this room. Can't use that door so we'll use this one. And let's go see what other places we've got here. Apparently. Place. It's stuck. Mm. There was something. Okay, we've found another key. And otherwise it's empty, okay. I guess it was just the key that we were supposed to find there then. Paintbrush. Toolbox. That we can't do anything with. Well, I guess that's all we've got here. It's half past one. Okay. Mm. 
Is that a phoenix? It's just that it's a bird and I remember that a phoenix was mentioned. There's some stuff here, but apparently nothing that we'll want to take. Oh. Paintbrush. And I guess that's a chisel. So that's what we need, right? For our task upstairs. We, um, we need to remove some was it roof tiles is there anything else here is that the door we entered through no that's the door we entered through isn't it or, huh? Should we just go and try to do our job and leave the investigating for later? This is a very big place. So we needed to... Oh man, I'm already lost. That's... Can we back up? Apparently not. There's some tiles missing here. It won't fit. What won't fit? It won't fit. Okay. I guess something won't fit. Can we now go back to the other room? Let's just go do the job we were asked to do. This is such a huge place and there's so much to investigate that I guess we'll do the looking around kind of in bits and pieces. So we're done, right? We only had to remove the ones that were down. Oh, hello. How do we put this back into? I guess that's how. Uh-huh. I had a hunch that that was the key that fit there. Do we want to go tell her that we did the thing, or... Let's take a look around in here. Then we'll go tell her that we did the thing. Hmm... Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Some kind of a note. Golden Gate Gazette. Okay. A doll's head. An iron. 
Hmm. An old-fashioned one. Before we had electricity. One that has to actually be heated. Like a... Uh, on a stove or something. An antiquated sewing machine. Uh, what? Am I supposed to be able to read this? With the... In a... Uh, I hope she's going to make some notes in a handwriting that is, like, more legible than this. Hopefully. But, um, I'm sure that those were clues of some kind. That will probably come in handy sometime. And we found a crowbar or something. A ladder. Doesn't look like we've got... Aha, we do have something else to interact with. What do we do with this? Do we put this over here? No. How do I put this back into my inventory? Uh. Oh, there we go. Click an empty spot in the inventory to put stuff back in. Oh. It's locked. Okay. Does one of the keys we have work? Maybe this one? It's locked. Well, certainly this one isn't going to do anything. It's locked. Hmm, thought so. It's locked. I guess we'll just have to remember that for later. It's locked. I wish she said, like, that doesn't fit, or something, but I guess, um, just repeating it's locked over and over and over does the trick as well. The mysterious uh, storybook. Something about somebody with an auburn hair. Or auburn hair. Probably not just one hair. Um, metal hitting metal. Some... Captain's treasure. A gruff voiced somebody wanted the treasure as well. Um. Mr. Niles had a knife in his hand. Apparently, he was a villain. Okay. Oh, 
Come on. Well, now there's a conundrum. Hmm, could we have taken the key, by the way? Just... It's locked. Oh, really? I thought we broke it, like, good enough that... We don't have to bother with the uh, key nonsense again. It's stuck. Oh my god, are you kidding me? So I guess we couldn't take the bit of rope. Um, let's go tell Rose that we did the thing. If I can ever find my way down. Here we go. And then... Just gotta find... Nope. I wish I could just step back from this. But apparently I can't. I have to get into the room and... So, which was the way into the... Um, there's the hallway... Is it these doors? Yeah. Oh, she's not here anymore. Calculator... Ooh, snooping around. To-do list. Pay bills, transfer money to checking, order paint, measure indoors for windows for blinds, replace last lost tiles on then fireplace, refinish kitchen cabinets, sand and polish hardwood floors, oil door hinges upstairs, Pair hanging gutter in back. Get estimate to fix roof. Call chimney cleaner repair. Dumb waiter. Fix broken doorbell. Add additional phone lines. Order bulbs for front yard. Homeowners insurance. Working kitchen, gas line, no structural damage, burst water, main in upstairs bedroom, minimal structural damage, scaffolding collapse, no injuries, vandalism damage to outside shrubbery, stolen roofing materials. Okay, damage report. Right. Oh, that's the that. Um, Chandler Interiors? Dear Rose, what a pleasure it was to meet you and Abby. As we have discussed, I am extremely interested in examining the collection of old books that came with the house. They will help me considerably with my research of Victorian antiques. In exchange, I will be more than happy to consult you on renovations. Victorian homes pose many difficulties 
both structurally and aesthetically, especially for an amateur renovator like yourself. My expertise in this field can save you both time and money. I will come over tomorrow at noon to show you the roof tiles I found for you. I also found a good deal on scaffolding equipment. Okay. Oh, that's the Louis. Right. The Louis on the schedule thing. She's left her purse. So she probably won't be gone for long. Where did she go? And what do we do in her absence? Go consult our little book in the suitcase? I guess that might be a good idea. Fifteen to four. Is this like AM or PM or what? Now it was this way to our room. Ah, <sighs> so many steps. Was it at the end of this? Yes. Oh my gosh. What the heck was that? I did not like that sound. What made that sound? I guess there's nothing here. Hmm. Let's look at our little book. Okay, one's the hotel. Secret attic. Million dollar insurance policy. Policy. Abby believes in ghosts. Valdez. That's all you've written down. I guess the storybook wasn't important then, or the, uh, uh, whatever other diary book thing it was that we found. Maybe it was just for, you know, ambiance. Flare. Alright, so what now? Oh, can we use like uh, this? Yeah, okay. Um, gotta put this away though. Grab the key. And now that we have... Must replace that so nobody knows we've uh, taken the key. Very important to clean up after yourself when uh, snooping like this. So we... Uh, so far we've got one place that needs a key. And it's in the attic which conveniently we have access to. So... Ah, uh, let's see... It was... That. Um... 
will keep. Alright. More piano music. Um This is the tale of the bandit's lute and how it came to be that golden dreams of blissful love soon failed you and me. Oh my love, write far and fast for me. I'll wait in Yerba Buena town in a house high above the sea. I traveled as far as the golden gate where I held your treasure true. Where the rainbow ends in Christmas gold and the phoenix rises too. Oh my love, write far and fast for me. I'll wait in Yerba Buena town in a house high above the sea. So this mentions the phoenix as well. The rainbow ends in Christmas gold. A golden gate. Hmm. Is there more to this music than what I'm seeing? Is there more to this music than what I'm seeing? Probably, I mean, it has been torn. Is the music itself important then? Or is it just the title, The Bandit's Treasure? There's something hidden here. Oh. Certain notes, huh? Am I supposed to write those down? I'm going to write them down, and just in case. So hang on for a second. Alright. Wrote that down. Is there... There's nothing else on this, right? No. Nothing in the middle here. That was just the... Uh, those few notes up here and then these words down here. Mm, anything else besides the music? An old photo. And a letter. <sighs> Am I supposed to be able to read this? Seriously, people who make games. Um, I mean, I know it's like immersive and stuff to have it written like this. But like, can you at least have her read it aloud? Oh, that's better. Dear... Pia? Sure. Um... That... that... Letter shall serve... As an introduction? Oh, it's probably this... this letter. Um, shall serve as an introduction for my faithful employer Wing Tang who has been um something has been crossed out employed who has been in my service um as head chef for over 10 years, it is with regret, but what's written above regret? Much, much regret that I must discharge him and uh, were it not for the retirement of my
something has been crossed out, but I can't make out what it is. Establishment? I, um, would still main maintain, retain his services. Sincerely, oh, Baldez, proprietor of the Golden Gardenia. Oh, dear sir, duh. I thought that didn't look like an A. Right. She isn't going to say anything about this? Hmm. The bandit's treasure. Charitable performance for the benefit of the Ladies' Protection and Relief Society of the San Fran... Fra San Francisco favorite, the bandit's treasure. Sumptuous Golden Garde Gardenia Hotel. Or the bandit, the banker, and the barefooted beauty. Okay. Beginning. So is this the symbol for end then? Do I need to note down these symbols? Is that what this is? I guess I'm going to write them down just in case. At least the beginning and then this one that's been circled. I wonder if I should have been writing down the other... Um characters or symbols that we've been seeing as well. That's probably just referring to that document, right? Mm, okay, I guess that's that. Um, how do I... Oh, right. Close this back up. It's going to make us do this again. Is our friend already done with her? No, apparently not. Well, let's go see if we can find Rose then. Oh my god. I guess we've got no choice but to step in here. Well, I mean, may as well take a look at what we've got here, right? Start from the door or like close to it. It's good to know what's here. Okay, fire extinguisher. Nothing else. That is a significant thing to no, and though, what else? Oh, 
didn't mean to move. Yeah, I wish um, it differentiated between like moving and interacting with an object in some way. Uh, Americans speak telephone company subscribers 1894 Okay, uh, do we need to like read this? Valdez F. Atelier. Yep, I guess that's probably the only like pertinent info here. Maxwell. Uh, Alitzger and Moss, law officer, law offices. Mm. Dear sir, we are pleased to announce that your bid for the auctioned property. So that's this property, right? Or six five three California Lane is this this building has been accepted. Uh simple estate interests have uh, now been transferred through the charitable trust set up by the property's grantor. For the benefit of the Ladies Protection and Relief Society, faithfully yours, G. Metzger, Attorney of Law. Okay. Anything else? I guess not. <laughs> Nothing there. Fireplace. Uh, Did we just uh, come from there? I think we did. Um, right. So it wasn't just looking at that table. It was like moving that way. What do we have here? We've got some kind of a dragon, swan, bird, We've got some kind of a something. And vases. And I don't see anything we can interact with, at least not currently. Subterranean San Francisco Exploring the labyrinth below Few people know the fascinating world below the streets of San Francisco City spelunking A good light source Building plans and hard hat are a must has gone through many changes over its 400 year history. Oh, there's no other page. Okay. I'm uh, hoping that highlights like that 
are enough to know about that text. We already kind of learned in the first game that all the texts aren't necessarily uh, all that important. Nothing in the center of the room here. Does this just lead to... no. We already... Right, we already took a look at this. What do we have here? A photo, a vase? More stuff we can't interact with? Was this the thing we just looked at? I think it was. Looks like it. Alright. So, did we come in through this door? I think we did. Did we look at this desk already? I don't think we did. So, let's just take a look at kind of this side of the door. Oh, there's the phone that we can use for clues, right? Yeah. What's this? Dear Rose, how are you doing? I haven't gotten messages from you in some time. I hope life is treating you well. Last I heard, you were in the middle of planning some sort of crazy scheme to buy an old Victorian mansion. Whatever became of that? Did you buy it? Uh, now... How did you afford to do something like that? Who did you find as a partner to help? Oh, we already know she found Abby. I hate to admit it, but I haven't been up to a whole lot lately. Um, life around here has been pretty dull. Nothing too great is happening here. Just a bit of the same... Same old, same old. I need to... Uh, fall into wealth. Okay. Fame and fortune. So... L... So I'll have more to write about. How's your cat and that friend of yours, Abby? The last time we spoke, she talked a lot about gold and its great spiritual significance. Ah, so gold is spiritually significant. All right. Learned something new from this. Maybe I'll follow your lead and... Uh, take on an ambitious project of my own. I could use the money I've been saving to uh, drive out to visit you. An adventure on the road could be just the key. Um. If, um, some of the rumors I heard of, if some of the rumors I've heard of your buying this house are true, I'll definitely have to come and visit. I'll use the excuse of coming to visit to check out your, um, 
new investment. I'm hearing Chinese. What? I'm learning Chinese. <laughs> and also considering taking a trip to Beijing. A friend of mine sent me a poem she wrote in Chinese the other day. Now I want to go there. Well, enough rambling. I've got to go, but I hope to hear from you soon. Yours truly... Uh, somebody. Alright. So I guess the important thing about that is... Oh my. More of this. Uh, handwriting that gives me, for some reason, great difficulty to read it. Dear Rose, I'm doing great. How are you? Um. Yes, the rumors are true. I bought myself a Victorian mansion. Oh, I guess this is... what? Is this like written by Rose? It... Oh, whatever. Um. Uh... Abby. <laughs> mm. It's funny, right? Uh, you should mention Abby. She's actually the one who decided to go on this venture with me. We're still in the process of uh, restoring the place. It's a lot of... Uh, something something but also a lot of hard work it's a lot of fun but also a lot of hard work right um beginning i'm beginning we are beginning yeah we're beginning to get a little worried that we'll fall behind schedule if we're not careful. Uh, there have been several accidents lately that have um, interfered with the work. Um, when you visit, you can stay in the Chinese room. Somebody just... Something... Taught. Um... New... Something... Oh. We're just... Or the wall paper to dry. We're just waiting for the wallpaper to dry before we move mm, everything in. Oh, uh, something. All of the distractions and the accidents Some, something like that maybe by the time I finish writing this letter I'm sure we will have completed the renovation 
ones all together. I'll try to get it into the mail before. Okay. Oh my. That was a task. Yeah, let's let's close this. Ugh. Nothing else over here. No. Okay. And yeah, we looked at everything. Oh, goodness. Okay. We will look into that room in the next episode. I am so tired after all of that handwriting and deciphering. Seriously, why can't uh, they have either have had those typewritten or um, if they really wanted to put handwritten stuff in, why not have, um, since they have voice actors, why not have the voice actor for Nancy actually read those documents out loud? Oh, seriously. Yeah, I'm uh, going to have a bit of a rest and... Uh, end this episode here. Thank you so much for spending time with me here on the Mellow. It was lovely to have you. Please remember to be kind to yourself. Have a lovely rest of your day and I'll see you next time.